How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the training room. Today we're going to be talking about my progression notepads. When you pick up a new character, you probably find a very long Google Doc or a Discord channel with a ton of information about whatever character you're looking at. This will usually include frame data, hitboxes, playstyle, Oki setups, um, you know, combos, corner, and mid-screen. And this is all information that you don't really need to know when you're first picking the character. And you'll usually narrow it down to normal special moves and anti-airs. And that's because you can use those things to build up into the other categories. It's almost impossible for you to absorb all this information at once, so that's why you're naturally probably going to narrow it down, as you should. Now what the progression notepad does is supplement that document that you were looking at, the big master document with all of these uh, you know, different setups, moves, whatever it may be. It's used almost like a flashcard, because you're naturally going to pick up on some things that are important to you and important to success, right? But then you are going to throw out the rest of that information just because you can't hold it all right now. And instead of just throwing it out and coming back to the document later, I like to throw it into a notepad. I think the notepad is a great way to narrow down the information from the Google Doc into little bite-sized points that you can look at later or in between matches and the loading screen while you're playing. It doesn't have to be anything structured or formal. I think it's just something that you can quickly glance over at, um, you know, check it out and remember. I like to do it while I'm playing too, so if I'm playing against a certain matchup, you'll see in my Karen one, I played against a Zeku, and I did not know that if you block the dive kick standing, then you can get crouch uh, light punch counter hit combo, right? So I put that on the document in between games, and I'll look over at it every time I, lo I load into a new one, in case there's something about that matchup that I wrote on a, what, that progression notepad. What I tend to write in my notepads are combos and strings that I'm having trouble with. So I think I wrote in the Johnny one, you can see there. Uh, I, I'll write down certain combos there that I'm having issues with. Or ones that are most important to learn. So the the different ones that are, are very important to learn, I think, are sort of the poke strings. And then the ones on Johnny that let you level up, right? Because he has a level up mechanic to make his miss finder get extra properties, more damage, and then you can combo off of them. So I prioritize the ones that let me get level ups, and I prioritize ones that are meterless in case I can't get the level up, right? So that that's what I look for when I'm writing down combos on here. It's not copy-pasting every single combo from the document onto your own notepad, because then it would defeat the whole purpose. It's just taking the bread and butter ones and putting them on here. Or ones that you think are cool, or ones that you want to learn. I think that having notes about certain properties of moves as well. So you'll see um, in the Johnny one that you can use the coins as projectiles, right? So that, it should be pretty obvious, right? Because you see him throw the coin. But to me, it wasn't because it was a metered resource. So a resource that was finite. that You get about, I think, eight coins, maybe 10 coins per round. So I didn't want to use them too liberally, but I learned that, that you can use them as projectiles to negate certain things to anti-air it sometimes, and they have a lot of uses, so I wanted to write that down in my document. I also wrote um, to use Karen's stand light kick and stand medium kick as teasers to see what the enemy does, sort of baiting things out. You can see that the progression notes between the Karen and the Johnny one are very different. I have another document, a Street Fighter V master document, that's just a bunch of general tips about the game, and then it has some Karen stuff at the bottom. That's why this one is has a little bit more advanced stuff and matchup stuff, Besides, you know, neutral jump fireball, it's not advanced, but it's just something I wanted to remind myself of. Um, and the Johnny one has a little bit more basic stuff because I'm newer to that game and that character. So there's not as many Karen combos on this one just because it's an older, or sorry, it's a newer document. And the Johnny one um, is also a newer document for a newer game to me. Um, I think that in general, you can write game mechanics that aren't very obvious. So whether that be the different activations that uh, characters have, the different V-triggers that characters have in Street Fighter V, or whether that be, you know, a myriad of things that can be in, in Guilty Gear, right, uh, that are specific to certain characters. Just general knowledge that you don't remember off the top of your head all the time that keeps getting to you. And I know some people are going to be reluctant to try this because they don't like labbing or taking notes because it feels like work or school. It's a video game after all, and I totally understand that. But if you're very serious about getting better, I think that writing up your 
um, weaknesses and your strengths and your goals are a big deal as well as stuff like this um, that pertain to your character and game mechanics. I think that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed, please consider subscribing, liking the video, and I'll see you next time.